I'm going to assemble the power seeker uh, 140 EQ of Celestron company. So let's start. First open your tripod for like this and uh, adjust your height according to your need.
you see that it's not easy to balance but maybe you got you can feel it i'm just losing it losing that way it's a little better for me but you can have your own choice you just lose me just for the feeling so um, free movement of it not the full thing. is totally up to your feeling then i uh, i am feeling that he, this is still uh, getting lean little here so i am putting it a little in the left side uh, still it's getting i feel it's getting weight in left side i am pushing a little to it or it's right still little right is getting now it's i think it's completely balanced i hope so it's balanced it is completely to your feeling you can't judge this because it is a reflector model well in, in this light weight also you can judge it very clearly if, if it was a very weight had a, a much weight you would have judged it clearly now tightly knobs are there and you have, you, have, you have done the latitude part the balancing of telescope now the only thing you have to do is take it to the outside and do the polar alignment and after that you are free to use a telescope and lastly uh, tell you how to, to attach the eyepieces first for normal uses you can use 20 mm 25 mm what you have been provided with your telescope so i have been provided with my 20 mm mm remove the cap insert it firmly There we go, and screw it back again firmly. Just a little support, and better remove this cap, the middle cap, not the whole cap. Now you can view better eye piece by keeping keeping your eye. Here. So it's the 20 meter. Now, if if you have the CX magnifier, pull the barrel, remove the caps. Now remove the two millimeter eyepiece. Insert it firmly. Tighten the screw, and again loosen the screw of the CX eyepiece. Now insert the two millimeter. Turn the eyepiece set again. Now you will get a much a magnification of the terrestrial object or any object that you are tracking or looking at. So here it is. And in this, in the case of of um, another eyepiece, this uh, uh, in my case it's a 4 meter eyepiece. I will insert the dragon back again into same millimeter barrel lens. Yes, and I can watch it too. I'm gonna watch it to this way. Okay. The same applies to this. If I remove the three x, yes, and remove the four meter millimeter, I can still insert it back here and guess the sky as long as I need. So here we are. Nothing more to do there. And but remember, align your finer scope first. The alignment of fine finder scope is most essential and the most important thing that you have to do. You will find your celestial object or the star you are want to see. You will see through it, it, and then you will see through your telescope, which will like, which will give you a clear view and easier view to track or or guess your guess the stars. And here you have this small adjustment as I move it to anti-clockwise the. The telescope moves towards the left, and you can see the positive x-axis. And if I move clockwise, then it's negative y-axis. If I join that, my another. Yeah, yeah. If I move, then if I move negative y-axis, and here if I move like this, again positive y-axis. So that much. So the telescope is ready. 
I have, we have adjusted your uh, finder scope, we have adjusted the weight part, we have adjusted the barrel part, we have, set, we have set your for eyepiece, yes, the stand is ready, everything is ready, now go out and, and polar axis the telescope to, to the polaris or the north star and a happy stargazing. Thank you for watching.